Day in the life of software sales right here. Hey. Chasing bunnies is my morning conditioning. We just arrived to the office, we're walking in. It's easy to watch these videos and say, wow, Trent's so motivated. He wakes up early, he works out, he meditates, he takes the cold showers. Just like anyone, I'm human, I feel resistance. I ended up going out and getting some drinks on Saturday like I told in, in one of my last videos. And it was harder to wake up. It was harder to wake up this morning. So that's definitely a mental note I'm taking. But just note that, as I say each and every day, the number one rule of success is just to show up. It's also easy in sales to say, Wow, I had a great last quarter, Q3, it started Q4. You know, it's still early in the week, we got a lot of time, I'll take this week easy, I'll take this week easy. I'm going into it saying, I'm gonna take this week hard. I'm gonna go in hard and heavy to start this week because it's gonna set the tone for the rest of the quarter. So if you happen to come across this video and you feel like you deserve to take it a little easy this week, I'd encourage you to rethink that mindset. Get in early, stay late, show up, and you will start to reach more success sooner rather than later. Very first thing I do in the morning, pull out a piece of paper, pull out a pen, and start writing down your goals and your targets. The more clear you can be about the outcomes you're trying to achieve, the higher probability it will actually happen. As you can see right here, I wrote down multiple times, promote to AE4, account executive four. That's the next level account executive. I just secured that promotion starting last Friday, first day of Q4. I wrote it down many, many times. Now, I'm writing down my goals and my targets. Remember, I'm not working to reach my quota. I'm working to reach my potential. So even though my quota is now $150,000, biggest number I've ever had, I'm writing down 250,000. I'm writing that down each and every day, and I'm writing down that I am promoting to account executive level five, the next one. Write down your goals and set them higher. So even if you fall short, you're still gonna be higher as if you set it much smaller. The second thing I'm doing this morning is you can see I haven't even gotten out my laptop. A productivity hack I learned recently is your inbox is a constant to-do list assigned by the world. And by checking it, you're essentially playing defense. In order to play offense, you need a prospect. That's gonna set you up for, for consistent success. So as soon as I open my laptop for the first 30 minutes today, I'm only gonna prospect. I'm gonna go into Salesforce, I'm gonna go into LinkedIn Navigator, and I'm not gonna check email because I'm gonna prospect first thing this morning. It's really hard to have the discipline to do that each day, but I'm gonna start with it today, so I would encourage you to test it out as well. Let me know how it works for you. All the best athletes care about peak performance. They monitor closely what they put in their bodies, what they tell themselves, how they think, and in sales, you should do the exact same. What are you putting in your body? I eat the same thing each and every day. Oatmeal with fruit in it, chia seed, banana, blackberry, blueberry. Healthy meal that keeps my energy high throughout the day and feeling good. And also ask yourself, how much water are you drinking? If you're bringing in um, a plastic bottle, you're probably not drinking enough. Get you a nice big water bottle that you like to drink out of that you can go refill consistently and drink a lot of water each and every day. And it will help you sustain your energy. And I never have that crash mid-afternoon because I'm on a steady plane throughout the day and that helps you call more, that helps you have more energy with your customers and it's gonna help you perform better as well. So something to think about. It's about 4 p.m. in the afternoon right now, golden hours and we're absolutely firing some dials. Whenever you're making cold calls, remove your email, remove the Slack and just sit down and focus. Put on your headset and make calls as fast as you can in rapid succession. A lot of people like to go on here and go to Salesforce and say, what prep can I do? Let me look at the company website. Don't do any of that. Press the call button and figure out what to say later and make as many calls as you can in a 15 or 30 minute call block. That's what I do and that's how you maximize your actual productivity because you're fitting as many calls in a period of time as you can. And whenever you're thinking about calling, early morning, late afternoon, midday, and my data actually shows the best time to cold call is any time. So don't make any excuses, start making calls 
and the more calls you make, the more meetings you're gonna set. If you enjoy sales videos like these, make sure to subscribe to the channel. Now, we put out daily sales videos, and we have a lot more to come in this video, so stick around. Just so you guys know, it's not always rah-rah. Not every activity gets me fired up. I do enjoy making cold calls, but one of the activities I dread the most is actually sending emails. I need going in my computer, the personalization, it just takes a lot of time. Here's a couple takeaways from that. A lot of people ask, Trent, do you send less emails but personalize them more? Or do you send more emails, volume, but not even care to, to write anything for them? Here's the answer. If you're an SDR, I would focus on sending volume emails, not spend any time on customization. As an account executive, I try and customize it more because my pipeline of prospecting strategy is multi or omni-channeled. It's, I'm not just cold calling, I'm not just emailing, I'm not just using LinkedIn, I'm not just doing voice messages, I'm doing them all. If you feel particularly comfortable with one of those, I would encourage you to stretch yourself and say, how else can I communicate with prospects and set up meetings? Because ultimately, that's the purpose of prospecting and pipeline generation. You need to be versatile and you need to use all of those channels. So at the end of the day, I send my emails, it takes a lot of time, I do a little bit of research, and I think it's worth it, because I think a lot of the time they read your email, but they're not gonna respond regardless, so it's probably a waste of time. But, reality of working in sales, right? Someone's gotta do it, so why not you and I? I'm getting in this massage chair for two reasons. One, for the thumbnail. Two, to get an actual massage, let's go. So far, so good. Okay. Day in the life of software sales right here. Day in the books right there, signing out. Realization I had going down the elevator. Nobody can do the work for you. You have to do it. I had a decision to make. End of the day, it was like 5.20. I had like 20 emails to send. And as I said, I don't like sending personalized notes and I thought, I could get out of here and it really wouldn't matter, but I put my head down and sent those 20 emails. It took like 15 minutes, but I know that that is then gonna lead to more activity tomorrow, and that's gonna result in pipeline, that's gonna result in meetings, that's gonna result in close revenue. You gotta do the work. No one can do it for you, and I left today with like 79 total activities. I'm an account executive, and I feel good about myself. I feel like I did what was necessary. I feel like I had to have put in more activity than most, and I can live with that. I'm happy with my level of effort and activity, and if you ever find yourself leaving the day feeling like you left something on the table, like that bird has over there, that bird's definitely left a lot on the table, then that means you need to reevaluate what, what it is your goals are. If you're someone that has these big goals, if you're like, I wanna be number one, I wanna make 400,000 a year, I wanna retire early. If you have these goals, but you're not backing up with the action, then how are you ever gonna get there in the first place? So. Those are the concluding thoughts. Hope you enjoyed this video here today. We have plenty more day in the lives coming. I'm gonna document the entire process, my journey. So if you'd like to support, make sure to leave a like on this video now. Of course, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. I'm gonna drop a link to my LinkedIn. I'm starting to really plug that because I'm posting a lot on there and I'd love to see you guys from YouTube on LinkedIn. I always respond to direct messages as well. So let me know how I can help. Have a great rest of the day, my hair is tarnished and I will talk to you in the next video. Bye.